All right, so as we take a look here at number 25 and 26, the directions are decide whether the relation is a function. And these are nice and simple, right? They don't really require any work. All we're doing here is deciding whether the set of ordered pairs they give us creates a function if we were to graph these on a grid or whether or not these are not a function. And all we're really looking to see is whether or not that x value repeats in the set of ordered pairs, right? Because for every x, there can only be one y, which means the x can't repeat. So let's go ahead and take a look here at number 25 and see if the x coordinate for any of these ordered pairs repeats. Well, we have a negative 2, 2, 6, 8, and 11. So we have no x value that repeats itself, and therefore we can say this is a function. Number 26, let's see what happens. We have a negative 4, negative 3, 3, and 3. Oh, so here, these last two points, our x value repeats itself. And that indicates that this is not a function. And what this is really saying is, if you were to input, because the x value, remember, is our input, if we input in, uh, this 3 into a function and we get a negative 8 out, that's great. But we can't go back to that same function, put in a 3 again, and get out a 4, right? If you put in a 3, you have to get out the same number every single time. And so if we're getting two different outputs, two different y's for the same x, we know that that particular set of ordered pairs is not a function. That relation is not a function. And that's, what the, uh, that's the case we have here with number 26. All right, so that wasn't too bad. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next set of problems in the upcoming video.